All right, testing. What's up, everybody? Tuner Day, Alaska. What's up? Asian Orange, Nether Sky, Ciroc. One hour of work left. Let's go. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. We got to get my Necromancer looking a bit cooler here. Uh, it's kind of unacceptable, the current swag he's got going on. <laughs> Doesn't look too... Uh, Gotta say, he's looked better. So, uh... That is not the drip. No, it is not. <laughs> it does not look too good. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess tonight... Uh, oh, I got a new skill point. Hold on. We're just gonna keep building this Necro. Uh, I played this on Thursday. I played this character on last Thursday, and I really enjoyed it. So, um, I'm really looking forward to this. There's a shop. You can get a decent-looking getup for only $35. Oh. <laughs> only $35 after spending 70 on the game. I'm here to invade your small town. What's up, Fealty? Welcome. Uh... <laughs> Uh, okay, wait. Oh, oh, yeah. Corpse tendrils. 100%, right? Uh, veins burst out of a corpse, pulling in enemies. Stunning them for three seconds and dealing 23 to 29 damage to them. Does not consume the corpse. Yeah, we're definitely going with that. Corpse tendrils is awesome. I'm loving my bone necro. Also, you should have all the X mog from your original playthroughs. Oh, that's a good point. Hold on, let's go get him. Oops, oops, did not mean to do that. Let's go get him something cool looking then. Hold on. There's nothing more important in these games than your appearance. Everything else is secondary. I'm gonna lurk so hard right now. Hell yeah. You lurk all you want. <laughs> uh, ooh, okay, I forgot. Oh my god, when did I get all this? I don't remember getting any of this. Ooh, that one's kind of cool. Go get some sweet hearts to put the necro in overkill mode. Uh, overkill mode. I don't know which one to do. The transmog? It's just stuff you salvage from your barb playthrough. Oh. You get them from, oh, oh, just um, destroying items, okay. I think I kind of like either this one or this one. Let's go with this one. This one's kind of cool. That's actually kind of cool. Hold on. I like that. We got to make it match. That kind of matches. Uh, that one's cool. Hold on. Ooh. I like this. I guess boots don't really matter too much. I see you have on... I, oh, I've seen you on Llama TV. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I know, that was kind of a... That was kind of crazy, to be honest. I'm very, very... Uh, it's really, really cool that he watched my video. But welcome, thanks for checking out my stream. There's an amazing orange heart that you... That auto uses corp skills. I have, wait, I have one, hold on, save. We'll do this for now, this is fine. It's not the coolest, he could look cooler, but it's okay. Uh, oh, thank you, Tunerdale. I've had that Pikachu there forever. Uh, there's one, hold on, there's one skill, or one heart that I have, it auto explodes corpses. Walking near a corpse automatically activates an equipped corpse skill every second, dealing 35% reduced damage. It's kind of a bad roll, 35% out of 38. Of course, I had to be here for next D2R playthrough. We're going to be doing that soon, very soon. Combines with a uh, generate energy skill to help keep you topped up. Oh, right, 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 right. It's mainly to pop the corpse tendrils. Oh. Oh, I see what you're saying. Corpse and Macabre. Okay, so... Hold on. So it's going to automatically trigger both? It'll automatically trigger both Corpse Explosion and Corpse Tendrils? 
It's million pop corp syndromes. What class are you doing next? D two R. Uh, we're gonna do hardcore, and we're either gonna do a cold sork or a barbarian. Probably cold sork. Grouping stuff and making them vulnerable. Right. Some minions if they die. Oh shit! Really? That's awesome. Okay. Hell yeah. It doesn't trigger both. There's a priority list for corpse triggers. Don't do barb. It's miserable. <laughs> Some people would say I deserve that after playing as a hammer dean in my first playthrough. Some people would argue that that's what I need. <laughs> but yeah, I've heard I've heard barb is miserable. I will tell you this: barbarian is miserable in Diablo Four, and I I struggled through it prior to season one. So. I don't want to do that again in D2R. You want Summon Skelly, Bone Spear, Corpse Tendrils, and Blood Mist. Assuming you were doing Bone Necro. You don't want Corpse Explosion? Blood Mist, really? I have Bone Spear. I have Bone Spear. Uh, we have Iron Maiden. Okay, and Explosion. Okay. How many skills my bar? Okay, we're pretty much full on the bar. We're gonna have to, I see. We're gonna have to get something rid of something to get one of these. Blood Mist is a good defensive cooldown. Interesting. Let me read it again. Wait, I don't even know what Blood Mist does. Is it, don't you just change into a, disperse into a bloody mist, becoming immune for three seconds. Your movement speed is reduced by 20% and you periodically deal 2% uh, damage to enemies and heal for 0.5% of your maximum life. Interesting. And it removes CC. Oh, okay, then that's really good. Kind of a panic button. Yeah, that's really good. Is Blight a good core skill? I want to try something different than Bone Spear. Let's see. Which one was Blight? Oh, wait. Core skill, you said. Sorry. Let's see. Blight. Unleash concentrated Blight that deals... Um, 34 to 42 uh, damage and leaves behind a defiled area, dealing 103. There was something that that synergy, synergized with this that was really good. Blight has some really good builds towards end game. Yeah, I saw something that synergized with Blight. What's up? What's up, Hectaz? Once these ads end, <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, something, something, uh, something definitely synergized with this. I don't remember what it was, but I remember thinking that it sounded really good. I don't know for sure though. All right. So let's see. What do we need to do? Essentially all we need to do is keep doing these, uh, season journeys up through number two so that we can continue the quest, right? Ads are over. Here I am. Welcome, Hectaz. Welcome. Yes, we are doing a Necro. It's fun. I played it on, uh, last Thursday, and I had a ton of fun with it. Make sure you have the talent to give energy when consuming corpse. Oh, good point. Good point. Let me see. What do I want to do? I think the first thing we'll do is try and get this completed. So we'll go do some cellars. We'll go do some cellars, get that completed. Now, where's the skill that gives you energy when you kill? Um, what build are you wanting to play? There's actually quite a few interesting builds this season. I've been doing Bloodlands exclusive, exclusively this season. Bone Spirit of 100 preseason. I'm not really sure. I'm kind of um, doing a, a Bone Spear Summon Necro right now and kind of winging it. Um... Just kind of messing around. I've I'm only like what level thirteen or something so far, so I'm still messing around. I haven't played a necro since the beta, so um, I don't have a lot of experience with it. I need to finish the basic story. Oh, what's up? What's up, Azriel? How you doing? I still wouldn't do any melee character. I think druid or or Amazon are good A tier classes that'll give you a better feel on how D two really is. Sork is still pretty different just because of teleport. Okay, wait. I still wouldn't do any melee character. I think Druid or Amazon are good A-tier classes. That'll give you a good feel. Okay, I see what you're saying. Sork is different because of teleport. I get you. 
You might not be far enough into the tree if you're 13. Yeah. What's up, Barry? Welcome. When you complete a Whisper's quest, make sure you drop and, and pick up the cash 10 times. That completes that reward portion. Wait, when you complete a Whisper's quest, make sure you drop and pick the cash 10 times. That completes the reward portion. What do you mean? I've, I, I've only done it once. I went to the tree and got a chest. Yeah, let's go kill stuff. Let's go do some. All right, so here's here's what we'll do. Here's what we'll do for now. We will work on kind of collecting some of these waypoints, doing dungeons and cellars along the way. We actually might as well go do this. How long? 33 minutes. All right, let's go do this cellar. I want to get the uh, I want to get the um, these chapters completed. These the season journey completed, so that I can start doing the quest again, the main quest. Click Chen Chet. Oh, wait. That's broke. Is it just checking how many times you pick it up? Click 10 chests, but if you drop it, it counts it again? Wait, is something bugged? It's part of the chapter three of season. Okay. Oh, I see. It's one Okay, it's one of the... I see what you're saying. Here for all the slowed content. Thank you, Fealty. Thank you. All right, yeah, let's just go do these cellars and kill some things. I'm really looking forward to it. It's fun. It's fun. It is finally fun to kill things as a necro. It was getting to the point, playing as a barbarian, that I was no longer having fun getting into fights, and I was wanting to avoid fights. That's how I knew I didn't want to play a barbarian anymore. <laughs> when I don't want to fight things, and I just want to run past them. The hearts really make it fun. The hearts are really cool. I really like the ideas that they've done with the hearts. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. God damn it. Move. Alright, let's just do this. Let's just do this. I have to remember how to play. Okay, we got that. I need some skeletons. I can't even tell what's happening right now. Bone spear, okay. This is taking me a second to get the hang of it again. It's very loud on my end, hold on. Thank you for the sub, Fealty, hell yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, sorry, that was really loud and overwhelming. <laughs> that was really loud and overwhelming. Uh... I'm 15 on a frenzy whirlwind build, and I mow through stuff and generate a ton of fury. So it actually, so the hearts have improved things for barbs then, I guess. Hopefully I can get back on it after the coming patch. Oh wait, I had to quit my barb at level 39, it's just too bad. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It was rough, it got really... Okay. Alright. That's, uh... Oh, uh, God. Okay. My game crashed. I got kicked. And the grand prize winner! <laughs> the Hypnotoad. Barry, thank you for the sub. I think I appreciate that, man. Thank you. All right. Um, let's see if I can get back in. I'm still alive, right? I didn't lose internet. I just lost... Did I F or the, st the stream... The stream... The stream died. Am I gone? Do you not see me? Can you guys see me? I'm back? Okay. It doesn't say I had any issues. What was that? You guys can see me and hear me, right? My game, I lost connection to the server. I guess it was my internet? Your character has not finished being saved by their current game. Okay. That's it. Oh my god. I thought my internet dropped. Okay. It was my internet. Something weird happened with my internet then. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Please let me back in the game. Please, 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 please. Just let me back in the game. Let me know if I go down again because uh, I don't know what the hell that was. 
It doesn't show that I had any issues. That's really weird. Please let me in. Please, please, please. You need my level 100 seasonal necro to help you get back to the world tier world tier 4 capstone boss like last time. No. <laughs> Hopefully not. Son of a bitch. What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Is this normal? Is anyone else having this issue? Or is this just me? I'm not at one level. Uh, that'd be really impressive if you were already level 100. Try a reboot. <sighs> what the fuck? Yeah, let me try this one more time and then let me... Thank you. Thank God. Okay, we're good. We're good. I think what happened is my internet probably had a hiccup, which then booted me from the game. And then I had a hard time getting back in because it, my character was still trying to probably disconnect or something on the back end. Who knows? All right, that was really annoying. Uh, let me go do this cellar before it expires. What is, wait, let me, let me think about this, hold on. I need to think about what the most efficient route is to get as much done as possible. I'm still alive, right? Yeah. Now I'm paranoid. I'm paranoid I'm gonna look over and it's just gonna, the stream's gonna be dead. I'm gonna be talking to myself. Um, okay, so. Let me, let me collect. So we need sellers. We can do this at any time. Craft any chip gem. Reach level 25, okay. And upgrade your potion to minor at the alchemist. Okay, so essentially we need to focus on sellers and dungeons. And that is what we will do. Oh shit. Fealty is gifting five tier subs. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, thank you, Fealty. Jesus. That's awesome, thank you. Holy shit. Wow. I'm sub now awesome? Yeah, that's awesome, thank you. Fuck yeah. Sub hype. <laughs> Damn, dude. Thank you. Um, wow. Sorry. That was... <laughs> Alright. Let's do this cellar. Holy shit. Thank you. I really appreciate that. That's really cool. And then... So now wait. Hold on. I should be able to just... Walk by things. Okay, so... Feel he gifted a one tier sub to another sky. Holy shit. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, everyone. I really appreciate it. I don't even need to do anything. I can just stand here. I mean, I can throw some smoke at him. Or the Iron Maiden. I'm literally not pressing anything other than Iron Maiden. I'm just standing here. This is the ultimate, the ultimate necro uh, play style. You do nothing. <laughs> Where is he? Oh shit, I'm dying. All right. We got a new play style, everybody. It's called don't press anything. Oh, Barry subbed? Oh, thank you, Barry. No, I didn't, sorry, you're right. I didn't forget Barry. Uh, that's when I went offline. Sorry, Barry. It was like, I didn't realize I was offline yet. Yes, thank you for the sub, Barry. I really appreciate it. It's awesome. Yeah, I think I said it right when my stream went down. For lined hood. Do I need, do I even need to be picking up magic items? I guess I should. I guess I can. I'll put that on. We're still at that point in the game where most everything's an upgrade. And we can just put on whatever. I gotta get my um, playstyle ironed out. Like how I want to actually do the combat. What my rotation is. 
Yo, wait, if you get any goth girlfriends in the chat, send them my way. My wife needs to make friends. <laughs> Just read the stream title. Okay, I will. <laughs> I'll send them your way. Any goth girls, any, any goth girlfriends out there, DM Hectaz, okay? <laughs> Oh shit, oh shit. Okay. What is this? Alright, I gotta figure out my rotation. Like, what the most optimal... I almost don't know if I like it automatically triggering my abilities. Because then I have no idea what's going on. It's like almost too much. You know what I mean? Like, it's almost too much. God damn, this is a crazy playstyle. It is... It is uh, a bit hectic, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it's loud as fuck. Wait, yeah, is my game too loud? Let me turn it down a little bit. Let me turn it down just a little bit. Let me let me know if that's any different. Throw a bone spear every now and again so you feel like you're helping. <laughs> it's like literally just corpse explosion. Bit loud, but not that bad. Okay. They did a great job making it ridiculously loud. They really did. Well, yeah, I actually got turned down on my end. I might give myself hearing damage. Um, okay. Grab all these. Alright, what's the nearest dungeon that I have not done yet? 22 minutes. Can I complete a dungeon in 22 minutes? I don't know, but let's try. Let's fucking try it. God damn it, move. This is gonna be a speed run of this dungeon. I don't know if it's gonna be possible. It might not be possible, but it will still be getting experience. So it'll be fine. I'm gonna try my best. Found turning down sound effects specifically does wonders in this game. Sound effects specifically. Yeah, Corpse Explosion is a bit much. Especially when it's going automatically and I have no control over it. It makes me... Oh, wait, I got a skill point. We'll do it after. I need to complete this dungeon quickly. We'll see how fast Necro really is. I'm just gonna walk past everything. <laughs> everything should die. Oh wait, here we go. I actually need to fight this guy. I'm standing right in the poison. That wasn't bad. Uh, that wasn't too bad. That killed him pretty quick. Is the is the volume still too loud? Oh, what's up, Fortis? How are you? Something I don't think you mentioned in your D2R review video. Did you use modern or classic controls? That is a good question that I don't know the answer to. To be honest. To be completely honest, I don't know the answer. <laughs> Does anybody else know the answer for me? <laughs> That's not something I knew I could change. Maybe I did and I'm not remembering. Did I think I probably did modern? Missed the last stream, watched it after. Necro looks badass. Necro's fun as fuck. I think you customized yourself. That's right, I did. I did make some changes. I did make some custom changes. Alright, so I essentially just need to be making sure that I make them vulnerable when I can. There we go, that's not bad. That wasn't bad. I'm trying to get this done as quickly as I can. I don't want to lose the whispering, uh... Whatever it is, whatever the currency is you get for doing these whispering dungeons. I forget what it's called, but it's top of my head. Alright, if I start doing my own corpse explosion, it's actually really strong. It's way more powerful that way. 
Modern is where uh, buttons activate like in D4. Classic is where the buttons change your active skill on your bar. All right, we did classic. We did kind of a classic, I think. I can't move, there we go. All right, there's no corpses, all right. Uh, how do I move corpses, hold on. Keep moving, keep moving. Slow change the numbers and the F1 stuff around in D2R, swap them and a couple other keys. Oh shit, okay, we got a few more. I think I can actually make this one time. We should be able to make it. If this is the last thing I need to kill over here. Holy fuck, that's strong. Bone Spear is so good, holy shit. go all right one more enemy should just be one more enemy uh you'll want reaper skelly as they generate corpses also there's a talent that lucky hit to generate corpses yes i saw that one when do you get reaper skeletons is that uh i think it's level 15 right i missed those two okay isn't it level 15 the timer is the only is only for entering the dungeon once you're in your good Oh really? I thought it was the other way around. I thought once it ran out, you were you were screwed. Maybe I'm wrong. I I was under the impression. I don't know. Okay. Well, that's good. Oh no, we got another section. Damn it. Yeah, if I do my own corpse explosion, it does a ton more damage. Thirty-five percent more, <laughs> to be exact. <laughs> it's part of the skill. <laughs> I need to use my basic and core skill more often. Maybe I'm wrong, but that's how the wizard... That's... that's uh, Wait, maybe I'm wrong, but that's how I thought it works. I actually don't know. I have no idea. Your necro holding a book like the wizards in T3? Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm just using the best stuff I can find at the moment. We'll do more transmog later. I'll make him look cool eventually. Right now, he's just kind of uh, shopping at the bargain section <laughs> at Goodwill. He's, he's wearing whatever he can find. Other than the main stuff, I did change that. Should be holding a severed head. Do they even have that in D4? As an aesthetic, do they, do they have that? Because I know they had that in D2. Necros for tummies. <laughs> they did have that in D2. I do know that. I don't know if they even have it in this game. I don't remember. God damn, Bone Spear is good. Holy shit. It pretty much one-shots everything. This is a super technical piece of advice for minion, for minions that the game will literally not tell you. Your minions damage scales with your weapon damage, meaning that wearing a two-handed weapon will cause them to deal a lot more damage without actually slowing down their attacks. Really? I would not have known that. It doesn't, so it scales off your main hand, right? So, like, it doesn't scale. This book does nothing for them. It's literally just this one, right? Sometimes it's hard to see the corpses. I don't know if that's just me. Sometimes I have a hard time seeing where they're at. And I'm also really bad at aiming Bone Spear right now. Let's get all these people. Oh boy. Okay, we got an event. Okay, got this. I think we're moving pretty quick through this. Holy shit, okay. Three elites. I can't see where the corpses are. Okay. Fuck. All right, we need to go to town. 
I'm not 100% sure if the uh, one hand does something or not, if the off hand does something or not, but I know Kriparian did an in-depth study on it and found using a two-hander gave them a lot more damage on minions. That's really good to know. Okay. Thank you for telling me that. I'll need to make sure I do a two-handed then if I get one. If I get a chance to. Interesting. I would have never even thought about that. Ooh. Okay, wait. Hold on. Let me make sure I put on the stuff that's better. Um, Alright, we can destroy everything else. Alright, back to the dungeon. I think we still have time. I'm not sure if I need to rush, but we're going to do it anyway just in case. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, wait, let me grab this stuff. Yeah, what I actually think I'm going to do for the next time I play D2 is I will probably do a poll. And I'll let people vote on what my hardcore character should be. Who would think a necromancer's damage would be better with a two-handed weapon? <laughs> they use, like, wands. Yes, I know. It's necromancers typically use wands. And uh, I was kind of weirded out when I saw that you could use a two-handed weapon on a necromancer in this game. I want to use a scythe. I feel like, well, okay, scythes make sense, but like swords. Like the fact that you can use a sword is kind of weird. But I do like that you can use scythes. Those are cool. If you play Bone Spear, you'll have, uh, wait, hold on. Oh, shit. Uh, if you play Bone Spear, you'll only have uh, your Reaper Skellies. We sacrifice our other two minions, Golem and Mages, for the buffs to damage. Oh, really? Oh, interesting. I did the uh, Golem during the beta, and he kind of sucked. Those skinny arms with a big-ass hammer or mace. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good point. This is just the meta. Play how you like. Yeah, I did try the golem during the beta, and I was kind of under underwhelmed by it, to be honest. I need a corpse. I can't see where the corpses are. Whatever. We'll just kill him. Caged heart, thank you. Thank you very much. And two-handed swords end up being the best in slot weapon typically if you're using something like bone spear because the implicit uh, effect on the swords gives you extra crit damage while scythes on, on give you life per kill. Oh, damn, that sucks. I can always... Tra no, I wonder, can you transmog it to look like a scythe even if it's a sword? Because I definitely want to rock a scythe. That's way cooler. For, for a necromancer, it's way cooler. And as you, as you guys know, if you don't look cool, what's the point? <laughs> That's the most important thing in these games is your is your your style. Everybody knows this. It super sucks. Wait, what's like ESO? Wait, uh, d -d 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 no transmog on weapons. Oh shit, you're right. They don't have transmog on weapons. Oh damn it, I didn't realize that. Oh shit, I didn't realize that. Damn it. I wonder why not. Changing the way everything looks like in ESO. Oh right, yes. That's literally the only reason I played ESO for so long. I just wanted to make my character look cool. <laughs> you can change the way everything looks in ESO. Like, literally anything. Like, you can be using uh, an axe, and you can make it look like a dagger. If I remember correctly. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I think I remember that. Okay. I gotta say, Corpse Tendrils is really good. I really like it. Okay. 
I do like that about WoW. Good transmog on anything. Yeah, I think transmog is important. And like having rare armor sets to unlock is really cool. Shit, I'm going the wrong way. No, wait, there's one more prisoner. Ah, oh, crap. Come on. Where did I miss it? Did I miss it? No, it has to be up here. This is a cool build because I could technically, it'd be slower, but I could literally not even look at, just look at my health and just heal. And just let everything else fight for me. In ESO, I enjoy decorating my house more than I would care to admit. I, right before I stopped playing ESO, I got a house. I had finally gotten it. I didn't get enough time. I didn't spend enough time with the house. I wanted to though. Corpse tendril. Oh no, it's got a cooldown. How long is the cooldown on it? Uh, 10, 10.73 seconds. Okay, that's a weird number. How many skeletons do I have? Four? Okay, good. Blow up some corpses. Corpse tendril. Guys, I love this. I love playing in that girl. I gotta say, this is so much more fun than Barbarian. So much more fun right now. I love Barbarian. It just, it felt so weak. All right, we're level 15. We're level 15. That means we can get uh, um, the the other the other skeleton type. What MMO have you played the most? Uh, ESO for sure. I didn't get into WoW until last year, so I have only been playing WoW on and off for like a year. But I played. I've been playing ESO since like 2014. On and off. The heart will cast it every few seconds. But it does... So busted. Yes, but it does 35% less damage. But you're right. I can literally just walk through a room and just watch as my skills automatically activate. <laughs> Upgrade your pot. Okay, I'll do that. Barb was not as visually entertaining for sure. Oh, yeah. No no way. No, nowhere near as visually entertaining. Or satisfying. I really enjoyed Necro and D2 also. Went with similar build, Bone Spear and Corpse Explosion. I do eventually want to try it. Because it's different in D2, right? You can have like an entire army just following you around. Classic or Retail? I prefer Classic uh, Wrath of the Lich King over Retail Dragonflight or Shadowlands. Oops. Uh, I, I tried Shadowlands, then I tried Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and then I tried Dragonflight. Not of the three, uh, Wrath of the Lich King Classic was my favorite by far. I don't know why, but it just felt better it just it just felt more entertaining for some reason i enjoyed it more the damage of tendrils doesn't matter it inflicts vulnerable which is the main point oh good point okay that's a good point wrath was the first expansion i played and it feels nice to be back i just like the setting of it too all right let's get out of here how many uh how do i check the resource wait whoa, whoa, hold on before i leave hold on let me do my skill point before i leave um Let's see. Enemies who are in range of corpse tendrils are slowed by 50%. Corpse tendrils has a 35% chance to drop a blood orb. Enemies damaged by corpse tendrils are made vulnerable. Okay, that's the one we want. We want this one. Make them vulnerable. You just got into WoW last year. You just played D2 for the first time. What did you spawn in? <laughs> uh... I, I've, I don't know. I've been, like, kind of going back, and ever since I started streaming, I wanted to go back and play uh, games that I hadn't played that I always wanted to. thought streaming would be a good excuse to do all that. The bone passives down below are super OP. The bone passives. Ooh, these ones? I also got into WoW recently. Yeah, WoW's fun. Um... It's a lot, though, for a new player. It's a lot. There's, like, so much to do. So many goals you can make for yourself. There's a lot to kind of digest. Wait, and same with uh, CE. There's a legendary something that makes 
Uh, oh, corpse explosion. That makes um, anything suffering from a um, damage over time, which is what the corpse explosion becomes with a talent. Oh, really? All that to buff damage of spear. So tendrils to group vulnerable. Uh, corpse explosion to apply the damage over time, which makes them take more damage than spam bone spear. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Summon necro in D2 and walk naked through hell. Last viable necro build in Diablo. Wait, really? <laughs> Especially retail. Wow, I'm very overwhelmed. Yeah, I didn't like retail as much for that reason. And we have one more point to use. Uh, your bone skills have a 0.3% increased critical strike chance for 30, for each 30 essence you have upon cast. Oh shit. Wait, how many essence do I have? I have a hundred. So if I fire bone spear at max, that means I get a 0.9% increase to critical strike chance, which doesn't sound like a lot, but I can unlock more of it. Uh, wait, and then what else? Oh, and then we also need to do Book of the Dead. Uh, Skeletal Mages. Wait, no. We want Reapers. Yeah, we want Reapers. The only reason I play retail is because I've been playing. <laughs> Man, that's how I was with ESO. But yes, it is for ev uh, it is f even for season player. Joy Classic and Wrath of the Lich King. Yeah. I enjoy Classic and Wrath of the Witch King. Same. I liked Wrath of the Witch King a lot. They actually nerfed it twice since the game came out. Wait. It doesn't seem like a lot, but it ramps up, and you can also increase your max essence. Okay, sweet. What is this? Oh, okay, cool. Hold on. Let me... I'll save this for later. I'm not going to look at it yet. I don't want to look at a build just yet. I still want to mess around. Uh, so now we have Reapers. Oh. Wait. Hold on. Uh, Reaper attacks against enemies who are mobilized, slowed, stunned, or vulnerable. Reduce the cooldown of their powerful windup by two seconds. Reapers have a 15% chance to carve the flesh off enemies forming a corpse. Let's do this one. Uh, and then... Can you have skill? Oh, you can have both. I forgot about this. It used to be 1.5% crit chance per 10 essence. Then they nerfed it to 0.9. And now it's it's 0.9 per 30. Holy shit. They really nerfed it. They really dropped that sucker down. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, that would have been actually crazy. 1.5%. Reapers will generate corpses upon hitting. So you do want that. Okay. Let me go back. Let me do that. Let me do that. So do that. And then... Um, Shadow Mage attacks have a 10% chance to stun for 2 seconds. This can ha cannot happen on the same enemy more than once every 5 seconds. Shadow Mages fire an additional Shadow Bolt every 4th attack. Let's do that one. Let's do that one. More damage. You'll be sacking the mage as well. The uh, cold, I believe, gives um, damage to uh, crowd-controlled enemies or something. Interesting. Bone Spear was insane, dude. They nerfed my damage by like 60% in the last patch, and the build still feels insanely OP. Yeah, seriously, it does. I still feel kind of OP. Get the buff that makes corpse it makes corpses extra damage potential. Okay. Yeah, I agree. I swapped it. Tendril stun for two seconds so that it CCs. Wait, you don't want to have... Oh, and Tendril stun for two seconds. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. There's always enemies right at the exit of every dungeon. <laughs> it's annoying. <laughs> Alright. What's our next destination? What is this? Oh, it's an event. Uh, I guess our next destination... I need to find... We'll go here. And on our way to this cellar, we'll, we'll go through any other dungeons or cellars that we come across. Okay. Uh, vampires can't go in uninvited. 
At least it isn't the butcher outside every dungeon. That's true. <laughs> I did run into the butcher as a level as a level three necromancer last week. It was level three, right? Or was it, was I higher? I don't remember. I was really low level. It was like one of the first dungeons we did, and I ran into the the butcher. <laughs> Pretty sure he was like, he killed me in like two or three hits or something. I wonder if they upped his frequency. Same. I ran into him at like level 10, so unfair. It's impossible. Maybe it's not impossible. Maybe somebody could do it. What is this? I love how I can just walk. I, I literally don't need to do anything. I'll just throw a bone spear here and there. Maybe some bone splinters, make them vulnerable. All right, that's it. We're here. Saints hideout. He like four shot me and one shot my skelly. I wonder if they upped his uh, his encounter rate. I feel like they might have. Cause I only saw him. Um, I only saw him twice on my entire playthrough of the Eternal Realm, which I obviously didn't do as many dungeons as a lot of people, but I still only saw him twice, which I feel like is pretty low. That was easy. Holy shit, that was fast. I'll grab these. They're probably not any better than what I have. Oh, okay, that's better. Now, wait a second. Wait a second. I didn't look at this heart. Uh, you gain 11% barrier generation. Okay. Eh, that's not very good. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, is this a focus? Plus one max essence on that ring. <laughs> Wait, really? <laughs> Plus one max essence. Is that really that good? I feel like that's not that good. What's up, Griffin? Welcome. Is plus one really good? Are you joking? <laughs> I feel like that's uh, kind of not that great. 5.5 .5 damage to close enemies. What am I wearing right now? Oh, shit. Uh, the problem is I don't have a heart to put in it. Okay. That's good. I need a two-handed weapon, though, eventually. They nerfed max essence on rings, to this patch. Actually, as well, in another attempt to, attempt to nerf bone spear. Plus, plus one isn't that good. Okay. I wanted to make sure I wasn't crazy, because I didn't think that sounded very good. I caught your D2R review in Llama React, so hell yeah. Thanks for checking out my stream. I appreciate that. It's really cool. A lot of Llama's viewers came and checked out my stream, which is which is awesome. And uh, it's been really fun having all these new people. Really enjoyed seeing someone do a playthrough of that game. I plan on doing another one here soon. I don't know when. I want to do it soon, and I want to do a poll on which character I should play, and I want to do a hardcore character, um, and just see how that goes. <laughs> it won't go very well, I can tell you that much. You'd be my second streamer. Llama was my first. Usually, I just lurk on YouTube. That's pretty much what I do. That's me. I actually don't even really usually watch streams, but something about this stream just feels right. I'll try to make as many as I can. Oh, thank you, Hectaz. I appreciate that. I really appreciate that. All right, this is a dungeon, right? Yeah. We have an hour and 22 for this one. So maybe we'll just, so we'll keep doing these whispers and then we will also, in the same time, keep doing these cellars. Just kill three birds with one stone. So we're getting dungeons completed, cellars completed, and whispers completed all in one. Do you have a regular schedule? Yes. So, uh, oh, what's up, Cheesy? Uh, so I typically stream most nights of the week, usually three to four nights a week around this time, 9 p.m. CST usually to like 11 or midnight, two to three hours. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to do that. All right. Shit. 
Let me know if the volume is still too loud. I don't know if I ever asked that. Killing three birds with one stone. Jesus, you must be playing a multi-shot Amazon in D2R. Amazon is one of the builds that I did, or one of the characters I didn't see a lot of people recommend. I think most people recommended I played Sork or Barbarian for my next playthrough. I think I saw like one person recommend Amazon. Amazon is like a, a ranged character, right? Sound effects are still pretty loud. Okay. Let me do this. Let me do it in the game, actually. Uh, da, da, da. Options, sound. Let's do this. And then let's turn this up just a tad. Back to where it was. That should be better. This should be better, I think. Let me know. Sork is fragile, but does tons of damage. I'd go cold or fire, or a mix of both. Yeah. Oh shit! I went back to the beginning. Yeah. Somebody. Uh, mix of both sounds really good, actually. Sork to farm Barb for masochistic reasons. <laughs> the problem is, is that I'm going to be doing a hardcore playthrough, so whichever character I I make is probably not going to last very long. Barb needs good gear to not be downright frustrating. Oh, here we go. I missed it. I kind of, uh, I kind of wanted to do a shouting barbarian at one point. That sounds kind of fun. I recommend Amazon. I think cold bows on is a great playthrough. Okay. That's interesting. Go summon necro. Palin is my fave, but Havazon, Amazon is my second fave. Really? I, I think I'll do a poll and we'll swap it up. So like I'll do a couple runs. Uh, I'll do a couple runs with like a a sork and then maybe some amazon i plan on trying i plan on trying multiple new builds not just sticking with one just having fun with it you know seeing what happens jesus christ i feel like i'm not doing any damage now i think my corpse tendrils isn't really Activating too frequently on its own. Let's see. No, there it goes. It went. Okay. But Sword has teleport, so I usually always farm with that boy. Amazon is great, but it's pretty OP too. Yeah, I want to. I want to try something that's not blatantly OP. Give that a go. See how it goes. You know. I uh. I think I got pretty lucky with my class choice, uh, my first playthrough. Druk Signet, okay. Havazon, wait, my Pally main and Havazon both have Enigma. So that makes a huge diff. What was Enigma again? I don't remember exactly what Enigma was. What was that one? Didn't I have Enigma at one point or no? I think at the very end I got Enigma because uh, it was given to me by... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think I got Enigma. Yes, yes, it lets you teleport. That's right. I got it. I got that at the very end just to mess around. It was given to me. Yeah, somebody gifted you Enigma, which is insane because he literally never even had one. I think it was... I don't want to say... I think it was Fortis. Yes, Fortis, it was you. Yes. I didn't want to get it wrong, but I was like, I'm pretty sure that was Fortis. <laughs> Okay, hold on. What are we supposed to be doing? Destroy the skeletal constructs. We don't even need to be doing this right now. I'm actually farming Hell, Andy, and Mafala right now while I watch this stream. Hell yeah. Good luck, man. <laughs> Alright. So, Bone Spear. Make some corpses. Okay. Yeah, I need to start using Bone Spear more often. I can't just sit and watch every fight. God damn it. Just go this way, I guess. See what's over here. I wonder what my crit chance is now. 
I might want to check that. Oh, here we go. Good. I went the right way. Thank God. I didn't want to go run back. I am leveling up so fast. I think it's not normal to level up this quickly. This is actually crazy. This is this is actually kind of crazy. <laughs> Necro is so OP. <laughs> I don't even have to do anything. It took me over a year in uh, SP to get the runes for it. SP. Let's see. Wait. If you play Havazan, you'll feel OP until Act Two and Act Three Hell, and then you need to pray to Razan that he'll carry you through all the lightning immunities. <laughs> the All Holy Razan. <laughs> Travel to the Flesh Cavern. Did I already find it? It was here, wasn't it? The All Holy Razan. <laughs> I'm gonna make an emote with Razan. I need to. I didn't have time this weekend, but I definitely need to. Oh, single player. Right. Okay, single player. I'm just going to skip those enemies. Was this... I don't remember. Was this where the... I keep putting this down like it's going to tell me where to go. Yes, this was right. Okay, I'm right. This should be the boss fight, I guess. Alright, let's see how fast I can do this. Does... Nope. Corpse Tendrils does not work on the boss. That's good to know. I kind of assumed as much. I am low on my skeletons. Okay. I need to be attacking more. Okay. Iron Maiden. It's interesting to kind of figure out my boss rotation here. Oh, I'm dying. Okay. I'm down one skeleton. Damn it, he's killing my skeletons pretty quick. Alright, we're good, we're full. Alright, that wasn't too bad. I'm still figuring out the rotation here. Um, it's not completely clear on the best on the best like thing to do yet for me. Stand back. That's a very good point. I'm very used to being... I think I'm very used to, like, walking in and being super up close and personal because I played Barbarian for so long <laughs> that I'm just used to, like, walking right up to the boss and face tanking everything. I have a comment on the fact that you managed to somehow say the spec wrong every time. I'm here for it. Every time you say Hammer Dean or Ham Havazan, I'm just like... <laughs> I actually know that it's Hammer Din now, but I am intentionally saying Hammer Dean because uh, that's what I thought it was for the longest time, and it's almost like I might as well commit. Let's commit. As Ludacris says, get back, get back. <laughs> Y'all don't know me like that. Hammer Dean sausage. Yeah, I wanted to make a, an emote that was... Uh, this was actually a YouTube comment. I think some, some of you said it in the, in the chat, too. Uh, that uh, have um, a paladin with a, with a graduation cap on it. Hammer Dean. <laughs> Why would I use a shield? That seems dumb. All right. And I have a new ability. Damn, I'm leveling up so fast. I have not made the Rosan emote yet. I need to. I was going to do it this weekend, but I didn't have time. Uh, okay, we should probably put another point to here. Every 100 essence you spend reduces cooldowns of your bone skills by 0.5 seconds. That's pretty good. After critically striking 10 times with bone skills, your bone skills deal 5% increased damage for 5 seconds. Wait. Sorry, my, my brain spaced on that. After critically striking 10 times with bone skills, your bone skills deal 5% increased damage for 5 seconds. How often am I critting? I don't, I don't even think it's that often, though. That's the problem. So I don't think... Uh, I'm Yeah, it's only 7.9%. He was your boy. I didn't play... I did not beat Diablo 2. Razam beat Diablo 2, and I followed him. <laughs> um, 
Once you get further into bone, you will be critting basically every time you cast bone spear. Really? Okay, then let's focus on that then. Um, your bone skills deal 5% increased critical strike damage to vulnerable enemies. We're definitely going to want that. We'll go for this first. Keep increasing that amount of, the amount of times I critically strike. So I guess the way the way summon bone necros work is you want to make things vulnerable and then when they're vulnerable you want to critically strike them which sounds pretty obvious for any character to want to do that but that seems to be kind of like what we're building towards avulsion is the big mama passive for sure that's what i stack on my amulet avulsion that's not that's an affix right not a not an actual uh skill Okay, all right, we're good there. Let's leave. How, wait, how do I check? Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do I check how many of these whispering whatevers I, I have? What are they called? Materials. Um, what is it that you bring to the whispering tree? Tree of whispers? Yes, I'm gonna update the, uh, oh shit, the rejuve potion as well. I'm going to have it say, oh shit on it. Cause during my playthrough, I always call it the oh shit potion. <laughs> no, it's the crit strike damage to vulnerable stuff. Favors are on the map. Okay. Oh, return the to the tree to claim your reward. You're right. Okay. There they are. Can I travel there from within inside the dungeon? No, I can't. I have to leave. Okay. Open map, it shows a group of favors earned at the bottom. Okay. I didn't know that until just now. Granted, I didn't get a long time to really play in the end game in uh, tier three in um, the Eternal Realm. Open map and hit two while in dungeon. Wait, really? So you can. Oh, shit. All right. Wait, this is the part I'm going to. Okay. Remember to drop it and pick it up 10 times. It'll go to the sanctuary map. I did not know that. That's really useful. Okay. So we go get the chest, right? Oh my god, hurry up. We get the chest first. You claim the cash, do not open it. Okay. Drop it on the floor, pick it up, repeat. Okay. Uh, we should probably look for rings, right? That's probably the most useful. Because you can get the heart, you can put hearts in them. I don't think there's any chance I'm going to get a legendary at this point. I feel like these chests are kind of not that great right now because I'm not really going to be dropping anything super useful. So I might as well just go for rings. Okay. So I have the chest. Now, to drop something, I just drag it. One. Okay. Ah. Two. Three. Four, five, that might have been six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so now what did that do? Complete whispers available after reaching a certain point. Yep, there we go. It worked. Easy. <laughs> Thank you for telling me that. I would not have known. Hell yeah. Well, that's done. <laughs> wow. Thank you, Blizzard. Jesus Christ, my inventory fills up so fast. Doesn't it feel... It feels like it's filling up so fast right now. I only have one heart. I don't want to equip any of these rings until I have new um, new hearts to put in them. You know? Like, I don't want to get rid of these uh, passives. They're really good. So I feel like I have to hold on to these rings until I get something that... Um, get, a, get another heart that I want to use instead. Uh, anything else that's better... 
Nope, doesn't look like it. I know I'm surprised. I almost bugged out the Crusaders Monument Stronghold by leaving the zone with a skull and picking it back up. Giving me more progress. Yeah. The, uh... I wonder what the... What's the worst bug I ran into? I know I ran into a couple bugs. Uh... I don't remember. There was one where an NPC was just spinning around. <laughs> Duriel, <laughs> by far, he's pretty nasty. Okay. That's fair enough. Fair enough. I'll accept that answer. On the map, look for dungeons with a green leaf or dot on them. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's the best way to get them. So maybe instead of focusing on the Tree of Whispers, we can focus on that. Are there any crossover? Is it possible to have a dungeon be uh, a whisper and also have the leaf? I wonder if that's possible. Then it'd be four birds with one stone. Here's one. I need to start getting these waypoints. I keep forgetting. Let's see. Those are the malignant ones. That'll give you the hearts. The way it is worded makes me believe that the development was rushed. I have found many typos. Not many. I think two or three. But I have found like two or three typos. <laughs> to be fair, they had to do a lot of writing in this game. There's a lot of text. The leaf is a unique thing to seasons, so I do not believe it can be all of them at once. Okay. NPC learned whirlwind. <laughs> That's good. I like that. Uh, all right, so let's go do a leaf dungeon then. There's one right here. I'm trying to find one. What waypoints do I have? Are there any that are really close? Let's go do this one. I already did this dungeon. I want to try and find a dungeon I haven't done. Might as well pick up the affix. Is there anyone close to me right now? I could run here, but that's a long run. Let's do this one. Wait, I need to double check if I've already done this dungeon. I may have already done it. I may have already done this. Hold on. Yeah, I already did this one. Uh, all right. We're going to have to do some running then. I'm trying to make sure I complete as much stuff and do this efficiently. Uh, maybe we can go... Why are there no leaf dungeons up here? Malignant dungeons. Grabbing the waypoints again is a bigger pain than I was expecting. Yeah, I'm, I'm suddenly realizing it's like kind of annoying to get where I want to go without them. There's only a couple of them on the map at a time? Really? I didn't know that. I'm only seeing a few. There's not too many. Now, what is this? Seething Abomination. Okay. I don't think Skosglen has any right now. Yeah. All right. Then, uh... Screw it. We've already done the dungeon, but that's fine. Let's just go there and do it. We'll repeat the dungeon. It's all about the experience and the hearts anyway. Fractured has a couple. Dry Steps does. And I know how is ours a couple. Are they permanent? Is it, if it is a, is a malignant dungeon? Oh, okay. I see. Blizzard has to add more. I see. Oh, come on. Okay, there we go. Because this the um, a regular dungeon can't become malignant. I see. I get it. I get it. I don't know why I was thinking that a regular dungeon could. Makes sense. Come on, jump. I know you can jump across these. What the fuck? There you go. I don't know when they refresh or if they need to. Okay, I see. Did I go the wrong way? No, I don't think so. I gotta say, the horse in this game doesn't feel super good. It's not terrible, but it's not great. 
open. Thank you. What's happening? My game froze. My game is frozen. Hello? <laughs> uh, speaking of bugs, literally, <laughs> we were just talking about bugs. God damn it. I know you can complete it, teleport out, and reset them so you can farm them that way. And yes, the horse feels like ass, and it's been a laggy mess all day. Don't be mean to your horse, Nazar. <laughs> okay. Uh, he's carrying you through this game, too, just backwards. <laughs> yeah, leave game. I guess we're going to have to reset. Son of a bitch. Please don't give me any issues getting back in. Please, 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 please. Please just get back in. Please don't give me an issue. Okay, thank God. Thank God. I wonder if people are just playing more now. I wonder if more people are hopping on. Maybe that's why it's buggy. Hence why I'll not play hardcore in D4. Yeah, I don't want to play hardcore in D4 either. I'm going to do it in D2, but not D4. Uh, the follower goal, I think, is at 0% because it only upticks if somebody follows while I'm live. It's so annoying. It, it, it should be much higher. It, it only goes up if somebody follows while I'm live. It's stupid. It's broken. I don't know how to make it do it right. It's tracking new while streaming. So, like, while I'm live, if somebody follows, it goes up. Which, I feel like everybody's just been following off stream, which is... So, it's not counting. Never again until the servers are as good as PoEs. I wouldn't risk it. I would not risk hardcore on a game where you can disconnect and lose your character. Especially if you've spent hours and hours and hours and hours. That sounds illegal. Probably Blizzard's fault for that. I'm going to blame Bobby Kotick for your lack of new followers. <laughs> it's, it's not. It's not Blizzard. It's uh. It's Streamlabs, the program I use to go live. It has a few bugs. So if I unfollow and refollow, will it go up? I don't know. We could try it. I don't know how that works. I know you say it's Streamlabs, but it's not. It's still Blizzard. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Who am I to argue with the laws of the universe? It's like the laws of physics. They are constant and unchanging. <laughs> if something is wrong in a video game, somehow Bobby Kotick is involved. D2. Uh, oh, the, yeah, the um, escape pauses game. And you can safely log out. Even D2 online, you can instantly leave. But D4 is sketchy. Blame that guy that made Fallout 76. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Todd. The god Todd Howard. <laughs> Almighty Todd. With his horse armor. And Fallout 76. F that guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm a I'm a huge uh, Elder Scrolls fanboy though. So as much as some of the Todd Howard's decisions have annoyed me, and the things he had said have not been the most honest, I will always cheer for him to make a good game because he has made good games in the past. I gotta hold on to hope. Gotta hold on to hope. I love me some Elder Scrolls horse physics, yes. <laughs> Running straight up an icy wall on a horse never felt better. <laughs> Only the Dragonborn. Wait till Elder Scrolls 69 all online. Oh god. Please no. I will I will I will revolt. There's no game in this entire world that I wanna see. That I am more invested in it being good than Elder Scrolls 6. I am like, I usually don't get too invested. Oh, son of a bitch. 
I usually try not to get too invested in whether or not a game is good or not. Um, but Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be hard for me. Starfield, I'm not as pumped for. I, I'm going to try it, but I'm, I'm... Wait, wait, hold on. Wait, don't know. Starfield... I'm excited to try it, but I'm nowhere near as excited for it as I am Elder Scrolls 6. Which is just me, like... I don't know. I was like, what, 15, 16 when Skyrim came out and it just hit different. I got it. I was so addicted to that game back in the day. It's hard for me not to get pumped for the next one. Yeah, they're making a new IP. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. I got to figure out which rings I don't want to get rid of. Um, let's keep one of each if I can. So, let's just go one by one. Whatever. That was plus three, but whatever. Okay. Mm -mm -mm. Get rid of these. All right, one by one. So, this one is devious. Uh, devious. Vicious. Vicious. Devious. Vicious. I don't have any brutal. It's color-coded, I know, but I'm colorblind, so I have to read it. 11, 11, 11, I waited in line for Skyrim. You waited in line? I think I, I don't think I got it on release. I think I had to, uh, I think I got it for Christmas. I think I had to wait till Christmas to get it. The spaceship flying and fighting looks amazing. It does look really cool. It does look really cool. I'm just, the only thing I'm worried about is whether or not the, uh, like 99% of the planets are just barren and boring. I, I, I know that they're aware of that concern, so hopefully they it's not like that, but I do know that is one of my concerns. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's really entertaining. I remember the time they announced Elder Scrolls 6 and then refused to elaborate. Yeah, they literally just, literally just showed essentially a 10-second still image that moved, zoomed in, and uh, <laughs> that was the announcement. <laughs> I got it for my birthday, never touched it. My siblings played it more than I ever did. Oh man, it was so good. No Man's Starfield, exactly. We don't want another No Man's Sky. I don't think they will. I'm I'm hopeful. I just, that is, a, that is kind of like a, something that I would be a little bit hesitant on. Okay, which one of these am I keeping? Overpower, maximum minion life, shadow damage. Uh, shadow damage, life regen, uh, maximum life. No, we don't want that one. Uh, 2.5 damage to crowd control, damage to close enemies, damage to stunned enemies. Um, ooh. The resistances on this one are better, though. Hold shift for compare. Yeah, comparing it to my current. Um... I think this one's actually a good ring. This this one's a good ring. Just for that critical strike chance. It's not a lot, but it does help. Resistances are super pointless in D4 at the moment. I wouldn't go based on those, really. Okay. Okay, then I won't do that. Turn on detailed comparison and options menu. Oh. Wait, did I not have that? I thought I did. Hold on. I thought I did have the detailed... They're real bad right now. They said that they will work on fixing them in season two. Interesting. I didn't know that. Uh, advanced tooltip compare. I thought. Did that somehow get unselected? Because I could have sworn I had that on. Holy shit. This makes things so much better. <laughs> Why? This makes things so much better. So you can see, all right. All right, so I'm gonna keep, I know which ones I'm keeping. I'm gonna keep this one and this one. We're getting rid of these two. I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Not that it's super important. I'll be replacing them not in not that long anyway, but thank you for for telling me that. I could have sworn I had that on and I just, okay. I never knew I had that. I was missing that. 
All right, so this is where it is getting kind of annoying with these malignant hearts. I have a feeling these are gonna start taking up a ton of space. Wait, do I need these? Do I even want these? Are these bad? When at least four enemies are near you, gain an aura that automatically curses surrounding enemies with Decrepify for 14 seconds. That's actually not a bad roll. I'm gonna destroy this one. I'm gonna destroy this, this one. That one is pretty sick actually. You can break them down. The ones you don't want. They get more armor stats as you level up. Yeah, I feel is it this one that you say is pretty sick? The decrepify one? They get more armor stats as you level up, so feel free to salvage them. Yeah, I think that one's actually not bad. So let's just destroy the other one. I think that um the barrier one is kind of bad. So let's do that. And yep. Wait, what am I doing? There we go. Can I create some of these? Uh, ooh. We should create some of these invokers. I don't think I have, I have two, one, I can create, how many of these do I have? I have a vicious and I have a devious, so we need a brutal. Uh, and while we're here, let's just craft, let's craft another one. Might as well, right? So I don't have to come back. Don't have to keep coming back and, and leaving a dungeon that I'm about to finish just to... I feel like that's the smart thing to do. Maybe it's not. All right, we're finally back in the dungeon. Thank God. <laughs> so much for completing this quickly. God damn it. I gotta get better at keeping my distance. But then I can't trigger the... Um, then if I'm too far away though, it won't auto trigger the corpse uh, reactions, the corpse skills. So it's kind of a trade-off. Invokers will drop eventually, but it's a good idea to try and keep at least one of each, yeah. I agree, I agree with that. Cause I, that happened to me before is I didn't have a brutal. I didn't have a brutal and uh, I had to go make one and I didn't have enough resources to make one. <laughs> Fruit Sapphire, okay. What are we doing? Slay the malignant ghouls. Gotcha. Can do. I'm going the wrong way, aren't I? So this is the end point. Let's go this way. Yeah, it's so much more fun playing this game now that I'm a necromancer. Level 17. Holy shit. I, seriously, the rate at which I'm leveling up is crazy. It's actually crazy. Felt that had to happen to my Sork a couple of times. Come on, get it. Wait, what did you just call me? Wait, what? <laughs> what am I missing? Let me grab these. I think I'm missing a piece of the puzzle <laughs> right now. It's because you're killing things faster. That's true. I am not, not every single fight is just a 10 minute struggle. So yeah, it feels a ton better. Look at this. I'm just mowing through everything. It's actually crazy. It's awesome. I barely have to even do anything. Malignant ghoul. Oh. <laughs> hey. We're not malignant ghouls here. We're uh we're all frogs. <laughs> My stream is the frog pond. Courtesy of Alaska. Alaska gave us that name and I liked it. And we are but his tadpoles, yes. <laughs> oh. Is this who I'm supposed to kill? No. No, it is. Yeah, this is who I need to kill. Okay. Easy peasy. God damn. Such a difference. Yeah. 
All right. Maybe one day Barbarian will feel this good. That would be cool. If they got it to the point where one day Barbarian felt this satisfying, um, that would be awesome. Because I really do enjoy playing Barbarian if it just did more damage. I'm algae. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> hey, it takes all types to make a pond. We need everyone. <laughs> do I do devious or out or wrathful? Are there, what are the differences here? Um, it, I guess it depends on which ring I have. Um, we have devious. What is this? This is devious and this is vicious. So therefore we want to do the devious, right? Wrathful is the ultimate one. Oh shit, should I do the wrathful? Oh, I'm not able to do wrathful. I don't have that. I don't have an invoker, a wrathful invoker. In today's world, the strong white male will always be the weakest. <laughs> uh, one is defensive, one is offensive, and one is neutral. Okay. I guess, am I even able to do it? No, I'm not. Okay, we gotta do devious. So now, this is easy. <laughs> easy enough. Wow, that was kind of crazy. I, can't, I just can't get over how good Necro is. I'm sorry, I'll shut up now. <laughs> It's probably getting annoying how much I'm just saying going over going on and on about it. Okay. Uh walking near a corpse automatically activates corpse uh oh, I can't compare. Automatically activates corpse uh skill every second dealing 35% reduced damage. What's my current one? Um same thing. My current one is the same thing. Blue is defensive, orange is offense, pink is utility. You're gonna get my class nerfed. Okay, I'm sorry, Hectas, I'll shut up. <laughs> um, lucky hit up to 20%. That's a good roll. Chance of inflicting fear for three seconds. Feared enemies are chilled for 20% every second. That could be annoying though, right? If they're feared, they run. They run away. That's interesting though. What is this? This is uh extremely annoying. Yeah. I don't think I want to do that. So what we can do, since this is the exact same as this one, we can just swap it to the better ring. Yeah, this ring is better than this one. Let me, let me just double check. Yeah. Yeah, this ring is better. We're going to do that. Put that in there. That's just a slight upgrade. It's fine. Not a big deal, but it all helps. And then we will hold off on swapping this one. Yeah. They are also chilled when feared, but it's still going to be annoying. Yeah, that seems pointless. It doesn't really increase the amount of damage I do or any of that, so... Um, and I'm not really, I'm not really struggling with survivability. So having them run away doesn't grant me anything. I'm not dying. I don't need them to leave me alone. So wait, so map to, oh my God, that is so much better. Have I done this one? Aspect of potent blood. Let's go grab this. We're right here. Let's go grab this. Actually, we're just going to keep doing dungeons until we hit level 25. Then we can continue the, uh, the season one story. This grinding renown again is kind of shitty. See, I made the wise, wise decision to not grind renown <laughs> in the eternal realm. I only did the altars of Lilith, uh, and which was horrible, but at least I don't have to do it again. <laughs> so because I didn't do it before, I don't have the same misery of having to do it twice. Why can't I move? There we go. Come on. Best anti-synergy is corpse pull, grabs them, then you fear them. Back away. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, then what's the point? 
You pull them in with corpse pull, and then they run away. Also, theoretically, you'd hopefully be killing enemies too fast for them to be feared anyway. Like if you're if you're have it, if you're if enemies aren't dying so fast that they have time to get feared and run away from you, then you're doing it wrong. At least as a necro, as a barbarian, that's normal. <laughs> I just finished my renowned grind tonight, level 66. Congrats, man. Hell yeah. Fuck. I didn't even bother. I was like, that's going to take way too long. I just did the altars. I could be doing nightmare dungeons, but I need to clear out regular ones first. Damn, you guys are already at tier three. I guess it has been all weekend. I wasn't able to play really at all this weekend. So I couldn't stream. I didn't have enough fun during Eternal to Renown Grind. I mean, no Seasonal. I mean, on Seasonal, I finished the Renown Grind on Eternal a long time before the Season. Yeah, that's what I mean. I didn't do it on the Eternal one. So when I do it on Seasonal, it'll be the first time I do it. I'm about to try my World Tier 3 Capstone. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck, Alaska. <laughs> I'm home from work. You can start the stream. Okay. Ooh, thank God. Finally, we've been sitting here not playing Diablo. <laughs> Thank you, Agent Orange. We can finally start playing Diablo. Oh, God, my eye. Hold on. Something in my eye. Oh, man. All right. I know they say don't rub it, but it's impossible not to. All right. I think I'm good. Damn. Upgrade potion, right, right. Correct you are. Let's do that really quick. Let's do that really quick. Thank you, Cheesy. I constantly forget about that. Pretty sure I went a very long time in the Eternal Realm without an upgraded potion. Uh, <clears throat> my voice cracked. Uh, pretty sure I did at one point. <laughs> Wait, where am I going? Hold on. I don't know this town. Alchemist, yes. Yeah, I gotta get my Necro some new swag. I'm not really digging the way he looks right now. Alright, and then level 20, we can go to Miner. Good to know. You don't know Ked Bar 2? Yo, what the fuck? It has the best town theme in the whole game. This one? Is this Ked Bar 2? It is Ked Bar 2. I'm not really hearing the music. It's not really playing right now. We'll come back. We'll check it out. Moo. <laughs> Just moo. All right. God damn. That was good. All right. I'm done. I'm done hyping up the Necro. We all know it's good. Let's just let's just experience it now. <laughs> we get it. Necro's amazing. But seriously though. I'm like actually really enjoying Diablo 4. I was before, but like right now it's really fun. Yeah, let's go put this back. Wait, do we know there's not a secret cow game cow level in this game, is there? Has that been established? Are they are they adding that in or no? Might be. There is no cow level not found yet, and we don't know. Wait, listen to this banger of an OST. Wait, let me save it. I'll have to listen to it after stream. I don't want to get... I don't want to get... Let me... Hold on. Oh, oh no. Okay, never mind. Let me hear it. I thought it was something else. Sorry. Hi, Def. As Blizzard has said, through all Diablo games, there's no cow level. <laughs> okay. Welcome, Hi, Def. I did not know that they've always denied its existence. Interesting. It's the Kedbar do song, you won't get DMC'd. Yeah, I misunderstood. 
They have data mined it. Look for it in future expansions. Okay, hell yeah. We could all pretend the D3 cow level didn't exist. All right, wait, let me hear this song. Let me go forward. Okay, I like that. Yeah, I like that. That's, yeah. Okay, I know this song. This is a good song. It's very, like, almost like western and somber and dirty feeling. I like it. Where am I going? Protection shrine. Okay, don't mind if I do. I don't even need to stop for enemies. I can literally just keep walking. I throw one bone spear. Alright, whole pack's gonna die now. Well, actually, not necessarily. I have to stick around long enough for my corpse skills to, pro to go off. Whimsy Shire is not the cow level. Oh, it's not? Okay, I didn't get that far in D3. I just remember somebody sent me a video of Whimsy Shire, whatever it's called. And it, I was like, what the hell is this? Saw your D2R video via Llama. Figured I'd stop by and enjoy the D4 adventure with you. Hell yeah. Thank you. Thank you, High Def. I appreciate that. Welcome. That's really cool. When the cow farm is terrorized in D2R, it says an unknown place is terrorized. So they don't even acknowledge it in the game. <laughs> it just says unknown place. Okay, where are my skeletons? Oh, I am low on skeletons. I did not realize. No wonder that was nobody's doing damage. Why are no items dropping? That's why. I didn't have alt on. I had it toggled off. Lovely. <laughs> but the tile set can have cows, which is hilarious. 530 is like my favorite part of that song, and it does. It's the super dirty sounding western style song with some weird musical instruments. Kebardu goes hard. I like it. You're right. I like it. That's a good song. Was that same song in, in D2? I know they reuse some musical things like, um, was it in D2? No, it wasn't. Okay. It sounds really like, maybe I've just been playing D4 now that it sounds familiar at this point. Currently playing through season one as a Necro as well after maining Sork preseason. Yeah, I, uh, I mained a Barbarian preseason and, uh, never again, <laughs> never again. It's time to spoil myself with a Necro. Have some fun. Oh, it's Elias. For as the strong shall endure the chaos to come. Whimsy Shower was a middle finger to people saying D3 was too cartoony and bright to be Diablo. Ah, oh, so they were being spiteful, I see. <laughs> Not in D2, but it is good enough to be in it. D2 music is best music. D2 music is really good. That was one of the first things I noticed was that it, was, it had such a good vibe to it. I really like D2 music. Okay, come on. There we go. Sometimes I feel like I do kind of need to get in the middle of these enemies just to trigger the corpse, the corpse skills. Come on. Where's tendrils? God damn it. How is he still alive? There we go. I need to beef up my skeletons, I guess. DC music is insane. Uh, D1 music is actually nutty as well. D1 is probably my favorite OST for ambience. I might have to look it up. I've never heard the D1, the D1 OST. The D, the Tristram theme in both games is great. Yes, it is. Diablo games have always had pretty good music. At least from my experience playing them, I've always enjoyed the music. That was kind of a long fight. Uh, okay, let's keep going this way. I may have missed something, but let's keep going this way. What does... Hold on. What does this skill do again? Iron Maiden. 
curse the target area. Enemies afflicted by Iron Maiden take 45 to 56 damage each time they deal direct damage. Last 10 seconds. That's right. When at least three enemies are afflicted by Iron Maiden, its damage is increased by 20%. Okay. Gain five essence for each enemy cursed. Okay. Yep. That's what Iron Maiden does. All right. I, I kind of forgot about what it was doing. It's super ambient stuff, so it doesn't make sense to really just listen to it raw. You got to imagine yourself in a dark and damp crypt or a spooky lava-filled cave to get the most out of it. <laughs> That's a good point. D2 is kind of similar. When they played the Tristan music in the D4 story, it just made all the other music not as good, except Ked Bardu. It's probably great D&D. &D. Oh, you're right. It's great D&D &D background music. Also, when I read, I like to listen to music like that. If I'm reading a book, I like to listen to like ambient like music. Oh, I gotta do level 18. God damn, we level up fast. Alright, let me put another skill point on. And I don't read books too often, but when I do read a book. <laughs> uh Let's see. Is there anything else here I want while below 50% life? No. We don't have damaging enemies with darkness skills. We don't have darkness skills. Bone spirit. Consume all your essence to conjure a spirit of bone that seeks enemies. No. Uh, what does it do, though? Upon reaching the enemy, the spirit explodes, dealing 162, 198 damage. Okay. Eh. Are books those long magazines? Yes. Yes, that is a book. <laughs> uh, which side should I go after first? Every 100 essence you spend reduces the cooldown of your bone skills by 0.5 seconds. How long are my bones cool? I don't feel like they have a long cooldown at all. What is the cooldown? They don't have a cooldown. It's just... My bone skills don't have a cooldown. Yeah, it's not for this build. Okay. Then maybe we do after critically striking 10 times with bone skills. You do, we'll do this later. Maybe I'll go after these later when I have more critical strike chance. There's some bone skills with cooldowns, but this build doesn't use it. Okay. Oh, I gotta go say goodnight. All right, let me pop out of here really quick. And I will be right back.
All right, I'm back. <clears throat> the mobile slot machine. Oh, Diablo Immortal. You mean immoral? <laughs> Good times. Uh, you guys do not have to worry. I will never, ever, ever play Diablo Immortal on this stream. <laughs> I just like pretending the game doesn't exist. Yeah, same. Even though, to be fair, Diablo um, Immortal was the first Diablo game uh, I ever really watched play gameplay of. Like, kind of like learned about it because it was being talked about all over the place. And that's kind of what got me interested. Because it did look kind of fun, the gameplay. And that's what got me interested in Diablo 4. Which then got me interested in Diablo 2. I actually had a friend ask me something like, Hey, I played Diablo Immortal and I had fun. Would I like D4? And I just said, if you like Diablo Immortal, you would like to go to an asylum. <laughs> it's not that bad. I mean, the gameplay itself didn't seem too bad, but it just seemed like everything else about the game sucked. Watching your pallies, VOD, pretty interesting perspective. Yeah, uh, it gets, it, it's not as cringy as you go on. <laughs> it's, I've been told it's kind of hard to watch the early uh, portions of my playthrough because I know absolutely nothing. So it can be kind of cringy to go back and watch those early episodes. Son of a bitch. All right, wait. Let me help. Let me help him kill this guy. Would you ever consider playing Project Diablo 2? That'd be fun to see. Ah, uh, that's the one that isn't. Um, that's the one that you can like mod, right? That's not the official. Oh, wait, here we go. Is this it? Is that all of it? No, I got more to find. Yeah, that's the mod. Uh, yeah, I mean, what, 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 what can you do that's different? Like, is it, is it, um, you can just add mods to it, right? You go help your minions kill stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I'm mostly just like a general, you know, on a battlefield. They don't really do much themselves. They just kind of order other people to do things. That's kind of what the, the playthrough style I'm going for right now. Um... Holy shit, that was fast. Oh, I got another level. I forgot about that. Um, uh, tons of new builds are viable, and there's a new end game. PD2 has a bunch of balance and quality of life additions like rune and gem stacking. Oh, that'd be very nice. Holy shit. Your VOD has been hard to watch, not going to lie, but I'm enjoying it. About to watch you get stomped by Duriel. That's like probably <laughs> one of the highlights. Uh, as I go on, I promise I get more knowledgeable and I learn more and it's not as difficult to watch, hopefully. PD2 is awesome. Uh, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll check it out. I, I feel like I want to learn more about um, regular D2R first. Llama had a vid with some, mod, with some modded D2, like all new classes, and one was just troll levels of hard. Maybe we'll do that later on. Uh, that sounds like it could be fun. Honestly, I mostly played PD2 for the rune stacking. Yeah, that's a huge improvement to quality of life. Um, okay, I think maybe we beef up corpse explosion. Wait, no, bone spear. If you want a fun idea for D2, wait, def more D2R first, but maybe... Um, when next PD2 season comes out. Yeah, definitely. If you want a fun ideas for D2, try coming up with a build that can clear all mobs in hell. Not a lot of guides imply you can beat every monster. Oh, that's an interesting point. <clears throat> you'd have to... Is there any kind of damage type that there's no... Well, you'd have to maybe have multiple damage types. Because there's probably... A monster that could potentially be immune to everything or not everything but you know what i'm saying like blitz blizz ball sork even with multiple damage types it's hard shit i don't know how i would do that 
mod called the one where you start off with like negative 100% magic find and can only find white items. Oh fuck, what? <laughs> uh, okay, we unlock cold. That seems interesting. Uh, let's see. We'll eventually want to do bone, I assume. Uh, each time your cold mages damage enemies with their primary attack, you gain two essence. Enemies who are frozen by or damaged while frozen by your cold mages' primary attacks are made vulnerable. Let's do the essence, right? Keep What's this one? You deal 15% increased damage to vulnerable enemies, but you can no longer raise skeletal mages. Oh, shit. That might be good. That might be good. Uh, let's see. There are some endgame things that can negate monster immunity. Bone Necro with decent Merc. But that's much later. Okay. One of each Sunder Charm. His aptitude for that might be good is definitely 10 out of 10. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this might be worth it. I don't know how much damage these... these um, skeletal mages are actually doing versus how much damage this is going to put out but let's try this I want to try that that sounds really cool so we're kind of combining summon necro with uh, doing damage myself I guess if we're not going to have that many summons out let's see so corpse tendrils makes things vulnerable and then I whack, and then they get, and they're gonna take 15% more damage, I'm assuming from my skeletons and from me. Yeah, I think this is the way we go. The cold makes them crowd controlled. Sacking the mages is the build for the bone spear. Ooh, okay, nice. Then this is definitely the way I wanna go. Um, what am I missing here? Do I have all the animus? I don't have all the animus. Fuck, where did I miss? I must have killed something and didn't pick it up. All right, we got to go walk. There's an aspect you can get where they cast blizzards and freeze your enemies. That could be really good, it sounds like. If I got that aspect, I'd probably switch back to it. Because I'd want to see it, at least. Blue dot on map. Blue dot on map. What the fuck? Am I blind? Either I'm blind or it's not on the map. That sounds so dope. Skelly Mage is dropping blizzards everywhere. Yeah, that sounds really cool. <laughs> Maybe this is the problem with being a necro who just kind of walks away from things. Maybe it dropped and I didn't, I don't know. I'm blind. Okay, hold on. What am I not seeing? It'll be up in this section. It won't be there if you need to kill something. All right, hold on. Let me look more closely at this map. There's gotta be something I'm missing here. You know what? It's probably up here. It's probably just right up here by this door or something. There it is. <laughs> it doesn't show up on my map. Okay. That was weird. It didn't show up on my map. Is that a bug? Is it supposed to? I guess I should pick these things up. I can deconstruct them. Wait. Oh, shit. Wait, is this better? Hold on, I gotta get used to reading this. So... I'd be losing strength and damage reduction from distant enemies. But my maximum life and things would go up. Don't worry, guys. They will fix that bug once they enter the beta phase in October, November. <laughs> oh, it shows on your mini map. Okay. They fixed a few bugs, but more pop up when they change stuff. Yeah, it seems like it's one of those games where the more they change... This is two-handed, right? Yes, we want two-handed. We definitely want two-handed. Um... I think we use this. 
Yeah, I think we use this two-handed. Because that, that makes my skeletons more powerful, right? Um, anything else I want to use? I think probably this. See, now I'm having a hard time actually telling what's better and what isn't. No. Okay, we're going to go with this one. I got to read more to tell. All right. We have two-handed sword. Let's see how this goes. I bet this is going to go really well. <laughs> I have a feeling. Let's see. Scourge of the land. Make him vulnerable. Damn it. I should... I wanted it to use corpse tendrils. There we go. Even though it doesn't pull him, it should still make him vulnerable, maybe? Actually, probably not. Alright, my skeletons are getting hurt. I'm gonna wait till they die until I resurrect them. I'm not gonna preemptively do it. Alright, one's dead. There we go. Ooh, boy. Okay, wait, move. I'm gonna die. Stay behind him. Stole my skeletons. Alright, we're doing good. Easy. Easy. <laughs> that was better than any boss fight I had with my my tier three barbarian. Jesus Christ. Uh let's see. Having so many dumb affixes makes it hard to read sometimes. Yeah, exactly. It just seems like there's a lot going on at times. And you have to really sit there and kind of decipher what you're looking at. Which is probably something I'll get better at as time goes on, I would hope. Just ignore resists and go for more critical, vulnerable core damage and CC. Crowd control. Okay, I see. That's easy enough. That makes sense. If you have max skeletons, it won't summon new ones. It'll heal the ones that are alive. Wait, if you have max skill... Oh, wait, really? You can use summon... You can use this ability to heal them? Increases their damage by 30%. Wait, once all of your skeletons have been summoned, Ray's skeleton briefly summons a skeletal priest to empower your minions for 5 seconds, increasing their damage by 30%. I did not even know this. I never bothered to read it. I never fucking bothered to read that. Holy shit. <laughs> I just assumed I knew what it did. God damn it. It also buffs their damage up. It's weird because I don't know, have that problem in D2. And that game is far fewer worthwhile affixes. Same with PoE. Yeah, it's interesting. It's kind of odd that it's hard to read read uh see the differences in the in this um wait no i need to go hold on i need to go to town uh it's kind of weird that it is ha so hard to read you wouldn't think it would be but something about it it's like when i'm reading all the different um affixes and bonuses i just want to stop i just want to destroy it i don't like it uh man was not lying to us when he said he doesn't read often <laughs> I don't. Unless it's lore. I read lore. I think the reason it's hard to read is because affixes in D2 have a set order, but D4, they're just random. Strength can be the first one or the second one. That's a good point. That's a good point. Clutter, yeah. It's kind of, yeah, the, something about the font maybe too. Yeah, you can change your specialization, right? Uh, wait, what do you mean specialization? Hold on. Oops. Like Book of the Dead, you mean? You deal 50% increased damage. Wait. Your critical strike chance is increased by 5%. We need, we need some skeletons to be raised. We can't go totally no skeletons. You got it, my bad. Okay, no worries. I wanted to make sure I got it. I just scored a deathless, deathless visage in a regular dungeon. Good helm for bone spear. I'm rocking now. 
Wait, a deathless visage, visage in a regular dungeon. Good helm for bone spear. Oh hell yeah! Congrats. I haven't gotten a single legendary yet. I run with zero skeletons, just my golem and me. Alternatively, you can com be completely skeletonless if you want. We could try it. I think I'm going to keep him for now. I kind of like having my little friends around. But we can try that at some point, maybe. That does sound interesting. But then I'd probably have to do more stuff myself. I wouldn't be able to just stand there as much anymore. <laughs> and that's not a good thing. My wife does too. I made her a shadow uh, sever build with minions. She's having a good time with the season. Yeah, I like having the little guys follow me around. Something about it. You'll lose your corpse generation as well. Yeah, then we probably shouldn't do that. Uh, okay, I think we destroy everything. Uh, this ring might be slightly better than what I have, but... Honestly, damage to close enemies, crowd controlled, stunned. Yeah, I think we keep stunned, physical. No, yeah, we'll get rid of it. So the only thing we want to keep... Hold on. We're going to go through one by one so I don't accidentally destroy the one thing I want to keep. Which is so annoying. Uh, yeah, destroy that. Destroy, destroy, destroy. Okay. It's kind of satisfying just to say fuck it and destroy everything. Uh, what is the point of ne of a necro that has no summons? Basically an emo sork. That's literally, yeah. <laughs> he's actually even more of an emo sork too because he doesn't have any friends to keep him company, so he's sadder. He's an even sadder emo sork. Um, where's my stash? There's my stash. Still plays with corpses though, yeah. <laughs> now he's just a weirdo. He can't raise corpses. He just likes to play with them now. <laughs> He's just kind of a weirdo now. All right, we're keeping this. Uh, let's see. When at least four enemies are near you, you gain an aura automatically cursing. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. And this one's bad. I think I'm, I think I'm going to destroy this one. 20% chance of... Actually, you know what? We'll keep it since it's a high roll. It's a high roll. We'll keep it. We'll keep it for now. Even though I'm not going to use it. I'm definitely an emo sork in real life, so uh, shh, don't judge me. <laughs> That's funny. Um, all right, let's see. Let's go back to, oh shit. Where was that dungeon? All right, I need to go, I need to start getting these waypoints. It's really annoying that I don't have them. Right, let's go back to the dungeon really quick. Mark the stuff you don't want as junk, then just trash the one. Oh, good idea. I never do that. I actually never do that. And I had the thought. I had that thought previously. I was like, I told myself, I was like, I should just start marking things as junk as I get them. Make my life simpler when I go to deconstruct things. I don't know why I never do. I need to do that. I wish you could mark as junk the hearts. That would be very nice. I wish the hearts had a separate storage tab. Like consumables, uh, quest items. Th like, um, I wish there was one here for hearts. Or yeah, I don't know. Maybe something. Because it feels like they really, if you, especially if you're farming malignant dungeons, it's really gonna start to add up. I'm definitely having to go to the uh, blacksmith more often right now than I was. Oh, are you serious? I just... I just did it. I did it right before it swapped to a whisper. <laughs> Greetings. Of course. Of course that happened. God damn it. I have a life hack for hearts. If you purchase all four stash tabs, you can use one stash tab to store all your hearts. Bam. Now you only have three stash tabs. Life hack. <laughs> Yeah, and then and then until you need another tab for some more hearts. Um, I actually don't know how many different types of hearts there are, so 
Wait, am I getting hurt? What are you doing, minions? How you just let me get hit like that, not doing anything? I've just been breaking them all down. I'll probably do that unless it's a really high roll. I'll break them down. Aha! Here we go. This is what I want to do. I want to do a cellar. I got to get these cellars done. As the dev said... Oh, come on. What is this? Saren... Oh, is this where the world boss happens? Yeah, this is where the world boss happens, isn't it? As the dev said, they can't because it loads your... In yes, I, I heard this, actually. It loads your entire inventory when you see another player. So, like, essentially, you're loading everybody else's stash in your game as well or something. Which just seems, like, weird. That's a... I don't, I don't know technically why it would be that way, but I guess I gotta trust trust them on what they say yeah seems like seems like they may have uh, fucked up <laughs> when programming what am i supposed to do for oh yeah this one i gotta stand it's so easy to stand and do this one as a, as a necro you literally just stand here very easy Wow, that's such a waste of system resources. Yeah, and I don't know why they would have done it like that. There had to be some reason they did it like that. I don't know. I can understand how they make that stick, but really. Yeah, I wonder if they'll actually fix it. They probably will, because people are pissed. It might take a while, though. That seems like a pretty, um, a pretty built-in issue that might take them a while to fix. Oh, no, don't move, don't move. Stay there. Oh, shit. Wow, he got pulled quite a distance. Wow. All right, that one's done. Just one more, right? Oh, he's doing it. Okay, cool. I got help. Bound eye. Okay. What is this? I can't use these... Uh, I'm not really going to be using these um, offhand things anymore because I want to stick with two-handed for the most part. My guess is that it'll be resolved in eight years and then they'll make the same mistake two years later in T5. <laughs> so little faith. <laughs> if inspecting shows you another player's inventory, then that inventory is probably a global attribute program pro programmatically speaking. Yeah, you're probably right. I did, I did in college, I did initially want to go into uh, computer science. I did one year of computer science before switching to uh, computer information systems, which was like a, an easier version of computer science that was mixed with business. So I still did take coding classes, but it's been a while since I actually had a job that needed me to code. But I, I know enough to understand some things. But not a lot. I get the inventory, but why the stash? Yeah, the stash is a bit... Uh, it's it's weird. I don't know. You know, sometimes like they do weird things to get some one thing to work. Like There's one thing that they're trying to get to work, and they find some workaround, and they finally get it to work, but it breaks something else. It feels like that's the kind of situation this is. Feels like they had to do that to fix one thing, and now and it, and it, they didn't realize how difficult it would make something else. There we go. Caged heart. Let's see what this is. The stash is probably using the same code as the inventory. It's probably just hacked together super early and never got fixed. Yeah. They'll probably fix it. Hopefully they fix it eventually. I don't know. I don't know. Ooh. Ow. That was weird. Uh, let's see. Resource draining effects are 54% less effective. In addition, I already have this one. What is mine? Resource draining effects are 57% less effective. In addition, gain 7.5 increased resource generation. All right, so the one I have is better. Damn it. That's fine. Okay. That's fine. It's whatever. They broke the code and slapped some duct tape on top of it. <laughs> like any good programmer does. Ha, 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 ha.
Why can't I leave? Let me leave. There we go. To be fair, it is not a Diablo game without Stash Tetris. Like two games in one. <clears throat> yeah, and at least uh, there's not as many game-breaking bugs as an Elder Scrolls game. Or, or a Fallout game. It's not that bad, you know. So far, I've been actually fairly impressed with the stability of Diablo on release. Like, I remember um, when the game fully released, I didn't have a single queue. I was shocked. I know that's a completely different, um, a, a completely different area of expertise, but it still was kind of amazing. Bethesda has the rep to get away with it still. I know. People let them get away with it. I let them get away with it, which and I, I mean, I don't, I mean, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Sue them? But yeah, I still play their games, even though they do come out with a ton of bugs. Can't wait for Starfield. I am tentatively excited. Tentatively, that's what I'm going to say. Ten tentatively excited for Starfield. Uh, wait, let me see. Okay. Let me go back to town. Blizzard does not have that rep yet. It does not have that rep. No, it does not. If they if they came out and had a buggy game, people would be furious. They are a feature, not a bug. Yes, exactly. And Blizzard games are all multiplayer online now. I, if Starfield or Elder Scrolls are online, I will be very upset. Um, and I want those games to be playable offline as well. If, if, if Starfield and Fall and Elder Scrolls 6 are only playable online, that's going to be... <sighs> I'm not excited for the release of Starfield, but you know I'm downloading several mods that make it better and also adds Jiggle Physics Week 2. Hell yeah. <laughs> Bring on the big head mode. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm t I'm excited but cautious. I'm really excited for Elder Scrolls 6, but that won't come out for another 20 years, so we got a while. Um yeah. But I think that's where I'm going to call it for the night. Um I will be back on tomorrow. Or wait, I have a dentist appointment tomorrow. I should be back on tomorrow. If you play a Bethesda game, you already know by week two, there will be several mods that fix the game and also make some nude mods. <laughs> Those are only two mods that exist week two. Yep, exactly. 20 Pro common. <laughs> I hope it will come sooner. I do too. I, I hope it'll come sooner, but they need to release Starfield first. All right, yeah. Everybody have a good night. Um, I appreciate all the subs and, and all that. And uh, appreciate y'all hanging out. I will be back on tomorrow. Um, have a good night, everybody. Peace.